guys just finished sending on the balcony and uh, feels really smooth really smooth it's not perfect but I'll show you uh, here let me fix the camera first so um Yeah, here you see you, c you feel it but only slightly feel it um, so I send it here finish this here here after the carving use the sandpaper for the neck there. and right here as well on the bottom part feels great looks awesome send it this smooth the sides uh, let me show you so this is all now oh yeah here I, I just put some wood putty do you call it wood putty put it there because next to this knot hole there was a big like gap or opening I just close it again it's just a prototype so I'm playing around testing methods and stuff like this, so it's it's fine. Um, the other side as well feels really feels nice already. Um, and here the the headstock here you see it again. So this is the uh, scarf joint method, where you just cut an angle. I used around 15 degrees, so I cut it like this, down like this. The piece that that comes that comes off, you just turn it around, and then it connects like this. And here you see the the connection of those two, the top and the bottom piece glued together. This feels super smooth. You also see that it's uh, yeah. I sanded it down. It's it feels smooth as if there was as if there is no gap, nothing at all. You just see it. And then I glued these pieces to the side, sanded them down. Feel great. Looks smooth really cool um, and for that I used what is it uh, 255 grit Two hundred fifty-five grit set paper um, okay now just wanted to see there was something I didn't like it too much here. So. needs a little sanding, not too much. It's there, right there. You can see it and feel it. It's uh, once you got it, yeah, you see it and you feel it. Well, to me, this looks great. It really looks great. It feels awesome already. And I just what I did is um, so coming from like from this side. The bottom looked like this before, obviously, with the hard edges, 90 degrees edges here. So I just carved that down roughly with a, um, with a relatively rough uh, wooden file. 
this edge, this here and this edge of course, um, as well as the sides for my little wooden side sticks here on the headstock. Okay, and it was super coarse, you could feel it, it looked ugly as well. And then now with the 255 grit sandpaper, just sand it down, take your time, sand it, and now it feels so good already. I'm impressed. I could of course go to an even finer grid like uh, 300 or 400 grid and uh, sand it down even more, make it feel much yeah, even nicer than it is already but I tell you it's, it's, it feels really good. And again this is number one the prototype so I, I think I will win it like this now. It will be fine, it will be good enough. Okay let's just clean this up now. Clean it up first. Yeah. The reason why I moved from the balcony is of course because, uh, well, it's beautiful outside, needless to say, and also because of all of this. And uh, I like to use a, I like to use a, just a moist, just get an old, just a some clothes you can find and just uh, clean this up a bit makes it easier if you do it inside your workshop you have to clean up like yeah every little corner and since I do not have a workshop yet not yet I prefer to do it outside and just clean everything a bit Makes it much easier. Get rid of this sanding dust. Nice and easy. Okay. And now, before I do yeah, the wood stain, um, before I do the staining, I also like to clean this a little bit just to get rid of all this dust that's on here from the Sanding. <clears throat> All this dust will come off just nicely. Clean up everything. Voila. Nice. All right. Perfect. Now for the staining of the wood. Right. Now, as I told you before, so I bought this wood stain, walnut, which I will not use though. I get to that part. A minute, um, but the cool thing is, let me show you this wood stain. Um, excellent protection, semi transparent walnut, water base. Yeah, I opted for this quick dry walnut. Look at this. This will look, yeah, I guess it will look awesome on, on like this type of uh, wood. Now, anyway, what I wanted to show you is. Um, this there in and outdoors ha perfect since I'm on the balcony I'm outdoors so I may be able to use it here so I thought that would I thought it was uh, a cool little thing to note now no I won't use this one I will use something else to stain it be back in a minute Dum, 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 dum. Maybe first I need a coffee. I don't know who's watching my video, but for the Italians out there, this is like a, I don't know, quattro? 
Cinco Espresso. Yeah, this just came out of my espresso machine. Um, so... Right, so, and this is the coffee puck, two pieces of coffee puck, and I will actually use this now to stay in the wood. Um, I will, yeah. Just put this together. It's real coffee, huh? Good stuff, actually. But I had quite a few today already, so it's... Well, maybe not. Right? I didn't check, though, if the coffee beans would be... or are suited for outdoor staining. It wasn't written on the package. So, <laughs> doesn't matter, I will try it myself. and. But you see what I do, what I did on some furniture pieces, pieces of wood. Just mix the coffee, put the coffee with the coffee itself. And apply it to the wood. And this one I need I to, keep, to keep this nice mousse, this little foam as clean as possible. Um, yeah. oh, I drink it. Drink it all. So good. Right. Here we go. So obviously I will just stain the yeah the the the, the, <coughs> the top side, the headstock the back side and then until here until here and then the rest is then inside this piece here down um, will be inside the box so I don't I, I don't want to stain it I, I could do it but um, I won't do it there you go I like to keep the little coffee grains because it looks so cool. I mean, later once I I clean it with a little cloth, it will, all of this will come off. But I like the idea that I leave that stuff inside. And you can already see now here, obviously, where I have the this here the. The wood filler, the wood putty. Obviously, this will not. Uh, yeah. Obviously, this will not go inside the wood there. But let's see what the outcome is. Let's start. Now, obviously. It smells good. <laughs> really good. This is not, yeah, this is, you can imagine, this will not have the same effect as, as I would use the, like the original wood stain. It will also sort of protect the wood better and stuff like this, but also here in the coffee, I mean, there's also natural oils inside the coffee. And, uh, I suppose uh, I suppose it will also um, help in protecting the, the wood itself a tiny little bit. And I will just let it oops, let it dry. 
rinse everything off in like, I don't know, 10 minutes and then apply a second layer. Alright. Yeah, look at this. We got so much left. I should have should have drank more coffee before I put it all together, but well, uh, next time I don't need a five espressos, four espressos in, in the little glass. Maybe two would have been enough. Let it soak in. to stop. It's addictive. Just addictive. Okay, one last round here on top. Oh, all this coffee grounds. It's so good. A good smelling guitar neck. That is so awesome. Um, yep. I will let it dry and we'll see what it looks like in about 10 minutes. here we are again after 10 minutes look at this color so this is one layer of espresso like how it looks already yeah it's not it's not dry yet of course I just cleaned it with this little cloth just cleaned it off and here you see the difference So we have the natural color of the wood before staining it with espresso and hereafter. Like it. So what I like to do now is uh, apply a second layer, second layer, um, and see if there's a difference. Maybe it will intensify the look. Yeah, amazing. Coffee it is. More coffee. I still have coffee left, so might as well use it. Then, let's go. I want to make sure now to have a thick layer of all this coffee ground, it's like a peeling, you, know, you can peel yourself with that stuff. So in terms of caffeine level, what do you think? How much milligrams of caffeine have we applied to this guitar neck? Will it affect the playing as well? That is a cool study, right? Looking forward to that one. I think this one will slide like day and night, always. And day and night super sliding because of all the puffing amazing all right
but that's enough for now. Let it stay here for another 10 minutes. So, round two is finished. Mmm, nice coffee. Round two is just finished. So it's been 15 minutes. And I have to get rid of the... I have to get rid of the coffee now. color isn't it I love it I really love it it's just cool wow yeah just used coffee there you have it again now the light has slightly changed outside here you see it before and after before and after. Just nice. Okay, that's what I wanted to show you. Um, so I wish you a lot of fun when you try that. If you want to stay in your instrument or, I don't know, your furniture, <laughs> go ahead. Um, yeah, cool, cool stuff. All right. So that's it for the video from the balcony. Oh yeah, one thing I want to show you before I close this one down is this box there in the background. It's a massive box, a huge box, super, super, super heavy actually. This box. It is a a big box. It is huge. It is like almost two times the the little box that I will use for the guitar that I'm currently working on. Um, yeah, it's it's heavy. Look at this cool little mechanism to close it. Nice, huh? And uh, yeah, I got my hands on this one. Really cool. Uh, maybe it was used to, I don't know, to store some tools inside or maybe some bolts. You can see that here, there are some nails. So I could, yeah, I could uh, just leave it like this. I could use this one as a top. It's really resonant. Almost like a drum, yeah, I could use it for a drum box. I have a couple of ideas for making some cool other instruments besides the besides the number one prototype of the cigar box guitar. What I think I would use this box for hmm, is no, not, not a drum box, not a drum box. This one just cries and shouts to become an. This, Strung, a string instrument, a stringed instrument as well. Um, I think for a cigar box guitar, I mean, look at this. I mentioned, how does this look here on the camera? Oh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's so huge. Um, dimensions, I mean, oh, yeah. it's 
like the box for 25, 27 inch instrument. No, I have an idea already. Since this is a super sturdy box, massive, um, really robust, uh, I have an idea of what will I do with that one. Um, and yeah, this will come in a later video. Just keep this one here. Well, alrighty then. Um, I wish you a great day, great afternoon, great morning, wherever you guys are. And uh, see you next time. Bye bye.